I like about your cast, you really embrace the fans and their reactions and everything from social media to real life. Talk mm -hmm. to me about the fan reaction. How has it been over these past Fan reaction years? has been huge. It's been, um, you know, 99.9% .9 positive. And even the stuff that's negative, you just smile <laughs> and you're just like, it's all good. You know yep. what I mean? There's room for everybody. Everybody's opinion is valid. I think our cast is a smart, loving, kind cast mm -hmm. uh, that really takes their craft seriously and is invested in this show. Everybody's on board. We don't have huge egos, no, no divas walking around. Right. It's, it's a wonderful, fun environment, and this season is bananas. Your character, Tommy, mm -hmm. he's known for good and bad to be very impulsive, very mm -hmm. caring about everything going on, mm -hmm. and he's always paranoid, almost to a fault. In this season, him stepping up, running the operation, presumably taking over, being the boss. How, how can he trust anyone now, knowing what he's going through the past two seasons? Does he trust anyone? You know what I, mean? <laughs> I think we've seen from Tommy that he's underestimated a lot by people, which he doesn't mind. Mm -hmm. um, what he does mind is when people that he trusted lie to him. Right. Uh, that includes Holly, and that obviously includes Ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Omari Hardwick, who you know is uh, so wonderful at playing the role, and I have such a great relationship on and off camera mm -hmm. that it's um, it's really interesting when we show up to do the scene that it kind of goes through an interesting transformation. So sometimes the takes are very different right. depending on what we feel we hear from the, the other person and that reaction, but always based in a real grounded place of truth. And because we get along so well, that's a gift that doesn't always happen. But because that, that's a gift, we utilize that gift mm -hmm. to show the love between these brothers. Right. You're from Chicago, right? That's so right. At, mm -hmm. So filming here in New York, can you speak about how the ambience of New York adds to the overall theme of power? I think that it really is a fifth character. People talk about that all the time. Oh, you know, this is this city is this other character, but we utilize this city all the time. Even mm -hmm. from the promos, you saw that beautiful shot of the Manhattan Bridge when Ghost is uh, down there by the river. Right. We use these elements of the city to help tell the story. And I think that's very wise. I think that the writers, uh, Courtney A. Kemp, our show's creator, Curtis mm -hmm. 50 Cent Jackson, embraces Kurt, Curtis is such he's such a New Yorker he has <laughs> such love he yep. has such love um, for New York mm -hmm. um, that he, it's very important to him to show all of these aspects in a true way of New York and New, so New York helps tell our story for us sometimes. exactly so what can fans expect this season season three is gonna be right on the tail of uh, season two Tommy um, has got to either sink or swim he's got an entire network to step up, to um, uh, rebuild, he's got to deal with the the love of his life back in his life. Who's uh, she's a you know she's definitely the Bonnie to his Clyde, and they are going to do some damage together. Um, and to either uh, kill Ghost, get somebody else to kill Ghost, or maybe get killed himself by Lobos. And that is the ultimatum. So it's going to be exciting. Nobody is safe. If you could talk to Tommy, what do you think is one regret that he's had throughout these last uh, three seasons? You should have killed Angela when you had the chance. <laughs>